So we're going to begin today's class in a very nice gentle chest and shoulder opener called Lying Bound Angle. So if you are using props or cushions today, I'll ask you to set up a small cushion by your head and then a bolster for your body. If you do have a longer bolster, you probably won't need a cushion for your head as well. And if you don't have any props or any cushions, then I'll get you to do the exact same posture, just lying flat on your mat. So you're going to put your buttocks right near the edge of the bolster. Put the soles of your feet together and then let your knees open wide. Then you're going to ease yourself back onto your bolster, making sure that your head has a place to rest. Finding a comfortable arm position here. So we are working on chest and shoulder opening, so let's try to bring our hands to the floor. If that feels too intense, then definitely come back to hands resting on the tummy. And then we could go a step further than hands at the sides. As you start to bring your hands out into a T, that gets a little bit more challenging. And then further from there, if you come into cactus arms, so bending one or both arms at 90 degrees, that makes it more difficult. So depending on how much chest and shoulder opening your body is ready for today, bring your arms back or further up. And you want to feel like you're supported on your bolster or your cushion or your towel and you're really letting your body melt over. Maybe close your eyes here or just take a steady gaze towards the roof as you start to deepen your breath.
and then just resting here in stillness for a couple of breaths. We want to give our body time to come back from that deep stretch, to allow all the energies in your body to realign, to not feel rushed, to find your way back to that new place after that long stretch. Perfect, and now slowly sitting up, and you're gonna come onto your hands and knees. You can just tuck your cushions and your props to the side so they're close by if you want them for the next posture. So we're moving into a position called puppy pose or anahata asin. So we're gonna start by coming up on all fours. You want your legs to be about shoulder width apart, and then your knees stack straight over top of your hips to begin. We can modify if this is too much of a struggle for you. You're going to start to walk your hands forward as you mount your chest and your heart towards the floor, bringing your forehead down. If this feels a little bit too challenging, you're going to shift your body weight back, bringing your bum closer to your heels. The further back you go, the easier this position gets. And you might decide that for today, you want to come all the way back into resting child's pose. So where our bums all the way back and our arms are relaxed. So you decide how much stretch is appropriate for you, making sure that it only feels like about a seven out of 10. So don't overdo it here. So as we get into that position, you might like your palms down. You might like to turn your thumbs to the roof if your shoulders are a little bit tight. This is an easier anatomical position for the shoulders. As we settle in and we start to melt our hearts, You want to make sure that you don't feel like you're holding yourself in a plank on your arms. We're really letting go here. Melt into your mat. And if you could imagine that I could come to you in your practice and just take my hand and I would rest it right between the back of your shoulder blades. Not pushing you down, but more just the pressure of my hand and the warmth of my hand would just help those muscles to relax and just soften a little bit more. So it's about softness in order to get that deep opening through the chest and shoulders. So if you feel like you're tightening and clenching or like you're planking, that means you're in too deep. So slide your buttocks back to make it a little gentler. of our spine. Some people it's kind of flat. So with age, your body will naturally start to flatten out the curves in your back. And we want to work and exercise to avoid that because the curves in our back are just like the curves in a bridge. So the bridge uses those curves to support the weight and the same thing works in our body. So this is a great posture to help either maintain your lower lumbar curve or work towards bringing a little bit of curvature back if maybe you've lost some. Coming down onto your stomach. 
or whether you want to press back into resting child's pose. But when you get there, let your forehead bow to the earth and rest. Good. And 
slow and sitting back up. And now is where we need to remember to crisscross the other arm in front and the other arm behind. Again, walking yourself just to tighten up that hug. Shimmy your body a little forward or a little back until you find your sweet spot. And then just rest in there. Remember, we want our lower body to be relaxed here. So if it needs a little movement, just a reminder to set it down and be quiet. This 
So get comfortable. Close your eyes. Taking the next few minutes in class to let yourself go a little further towards that rest and digest or parasympathetic nervous system response. Let everything slow down a little bit more. Your breath will start to become more shallow, more still. Thank you. 